before the video starts please leave a like subscribe it's free and you can always unsubscribe thank you So if you're having ping issues on games, this will really help. First of all, test your internet speed. If you have slow, crappy speed, this is pointless and upgrade your speed. Second of all, it mainly depends on your location and where the servers are located. Go to their website and sign up for an account. After that, download Exilac. First three days, it's free. After that, you have to pay $6. You can use the link in the description for cheaper prices and also use coupon for discounts as well. I'll leave the links in the description. After downloaded, run it and install it installation is pretty basic and straightforward as you can see on the screen but ladies and gentlemen let me tell you something i'll be giving away free exit lags accounts to three people every month so to participate use code defocus in the fortnite item shop if you don't play fortnite then uh yeah i don't know what to say man i record it and send it to me i'll grab your names and put it on a wheel and spin it the winners will get prepaid code so you can redeem it Alrighty, so as you can see, this is the main screen of Excel lag. So as you can see on the right side, on, I mean on the left side, we have different games. As you can see, there's a bunch of games, all the games that you can think of. So you first of all come in here and just search for Fortnite. In my case, I'm going to choose Fortnite and then you click on it. So as you can see, we have game region. If you cannot select game region, it means that uh, you need to renew your subscription and you have to pay again anyway so as you can see uh, i'm going to now select a region if you want you can click on all regions and it will select for you automatically but for me as i live in the south africa region uh, i am going to select which is the one that gives me the best ping uh, which is manama bh manama 01 all right now let's select the routes okay so back in the days it will show here all the routes but now it's something like this and it will pop up something beautiful like this so you select four udp routes and one tcp route okay uh, if you want you can put uh, four udp over here as well uh, which is kind of the same but for me i'm going to select four I mean one TCP route and four UDP routes and then you click on apply okay so as you can see there's a lot of regions right here right now and I'm going to click on apply routes so it will ask you to not use one route unless you have a restricted bandwidth which I do so I'm going to click yes so before that once you uh, change the routes it is always recommended to optimize I'm not going to do that right now because I need to go back in the tools and I need to change everything in here. So for me, I like to keep Exilac on start. I don't like to have these notifications on and I don't like to it to start automatically with Windows because it uh, uh, mess, messes up my startup. Anyways, as you can see, we have this uh, kind of... Uh, thingy i don't know what to say what to call it anyways uh, you just put it on high uh, protocol to analyze routes you put it on icmp and as you can see on the screen right now i have all the routes that i had been testing and just use the one that has the lowest ping so i run a lot of tests and a lot of time took uh, into making this uh, this image right here this result so please consider leaving like and subscribe so continuing i have these three selected okay sometimes i don't like to have a uh, high kos priority because sometimes it has high ping so right now it it's currently good for me okay so next up is the fps boost tab if you want you can you can just leave it everything off or you can just turn everything on but i don't really recommend you doing that uh, because it might mess up your computer just uh disable this one because it will ask you to uh, disable this when you start exit lag then we have traffic shaper just leave it down on multi-internet if you have multi-internet then you can use this diagnostics uh this page is for when you have problems and you want to contact uh the exit lag support they will ask you to monitor the ping in real time i don't want to select it now because it will show my ip address but uh if you want to contact 
like them they just use this page and you can always request a new game which is something new uh, they that they have added either way these are the settings that i use to get good ping on the games that i play on uh, as i said in the beginning it really depends on the server that you're located on and the speed that you have keep messing up with this uh, settings right here and yeah i hope you have good ping all right ladies and gentlemen it is now analyzing all the routes let's see our new ping with the new settings so i don't know why the game disappeared but still we can just search the game and as you can see ladies and gentlemen the ping reduced to 164 ping which i initially had 190 so currently i'm using the following routes and the following server for fortnite uh, keep in mind that this will only work if you're playing on middle east servers so if i let's try switching to dubai as you can see dubai has high ping dubai 2 also has high ping uh, and manama has the lowest ping i don't know if you heard but weeks ago uh fortnite announced in this following thread that they will be terminating uh, middle east servers which uh, impacted a lot of people and some people remained with uh, low ping and some people were experiencing very high ping i've made a bunch of videos about this click somewhere over there to watch it anyway so as you can see i am using the following uh, routes and if i switch to real-time optimization and smart optimization what this does is that uh, as you can see it says right there but let me explain in uh, quick words basically if you're playing your game and it exilag sees that you are having high ping it will optimize it real time it it won't require you to come back into exilag and then optimize it manually okay just keep in mind that this will happen and it might give you high ping it might give you low ping so for me i like to keep it on off so if you also have ipv6 which depends really on your router or modem or isp if it supports ipv6 i'm pretty sure most uh, internet providers support ipv6 uh, so you might select this one but if you do not select it and then it, it, it will happen okay this will happen it will try to analyze routes all again but it doesn't really affect that much so we're gonna check it right now as you can see it doesn't take a lot of time so as you can see right now let's change our ping let's update this it is almost the same ping with just minor inconvenience it's going up it's going down but in the game it will just remain 160 around 170. so another thing i would like to mention is that for some internet providers if you use anything different than icmp uh, the part where it says to analyze routes it will take a long time okay so l i can show you that if i change to for example udp tcp and if i click on enable ipv6 it will take a lot of time to analyze the routes uh, i don't know if you saw back then with icmp it was running like crazy but now it is taking its time to analyze all the routes anyways that will be all for today i hope you guys enjoyed please leave a like subscribe and i will see you in the next video